Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the iFlight 6X Twin G F7 flight controller. In this video I'm going to go over the features and specs of this flight controller and unfortunately I also meant to feature it in a build video but since I'm going on a two weeks vacation I won't be able to do it in this video so probably it's going to happen soon and in order to make it up for you, I'm going to sponsor a small giveaway. So all you have to do in order to participate in the giveaway is to leave a comment down below. And once this video is going to hit 1000 views, I'm going to announce the winner. Inside this box, along with the flight controller, you can also find a harness for connecting it to a 4-in-1 ESC, another connector for connecting a VTX, and the rubber dampers are already inserted into the 30 by 30 mounting holes. The weight of the flight controller, including the rubber dampers, is 7 grams, and its outer dimensions are 36.2 by 31.9 by 5 millimeters. The most interesting feature of this flight controller that also gives it its name is the two ICM 2689 gyro chips, which are located on the front of the flight controller. So you can find one over here and another identical one rotated at 90 degrees on its right. Normally when a flight controller features two gyros, it features one that supports 32 kHz and another MPU 6000 chip. And you can choose which one to use under Betaflight CLI, so you can set gyro to use first, second or both. But this flight controller is specially designed to use this feature, so if you want to enable it, you will need to head over to Betaflight CLI and set gyro to use to both. This feature seems very interesting and I'm looking forward to see how it's going to work. Except this feature, this board is very clean. On the bottom you can find a connector for connecting a 4-in-1 ESC, so you can find the ground, battery, signal and also current and telemetry pins. On the opposite side you can find a connector for the VTX, so if you'd like you can use these connectors and you can also find the appropriate pads on the other side. So for example, if the connector breaks or you just don't want to use it, you can simply solder all the wires to the appropriate pads. Finally, this board features five free UART ports. It came pre-flashed with Betaflight 4.02 and it's using the Betaflight EXF722 dual firmware. So that's going to be it for this short overview. And I am really looking forward to see how this flight controller is going to perform using the dual gyro option and I can estimate that it's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. Regarding the giveaway, if you'd like to enter, all you have to do is to leave a comment in the comment section down below, make sure to be subscribed to my channel and also turn on the notifications bell so in case you are the winner, you're not going to miss out. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful and I will see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.